Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Nathan Fox, that's Ben Olson, together with the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. We've got another anonymous email here. Hey guys, I've been studying for a month now. My diagnostic score was a heartbreaking 145. That's not heartbreaking. Nope, it's Why totally is that normal. heartbreaking? Yeah, nope. it's a totally normal score. And yep. any, even if it wasn't, even if it was 125, I still don't think that that should be heartbreaking. That's just whatever. It's who cares? No one cares. Could, could be liberating. Huh. Don't pursue this yeah, course. <laughs> right. Uh, this person continues. I've improved a lot since then. Here is how I did on my time sections this week. Minus two in games, minus four in reading comp and minus three in logical reasoning. Jeez, that's like a 170. Yeah, nice work. I don't want to burn out, so I've been avoiding full practice tests. I don't think you'll burn out. Are full practice tests necessary? A law student told me that they weren't, but I thought it would be better to ask you guys. Also, should I take the three or four section practice test? Sorry, should I take the three or the four section practice test? Which one? How many should I aim to take before my test date? I'd like you to take the practice test before your test date. I mean, I guess you've taken at least one. You got your diagnostic, um, but you're scoring so high, I wouldn't freak out about the practice test. You probably need to take them. You don't need to take them, but maybe you need to take them because you're so concerned about them. They're not a big deal. Take it's one it's, a week. No big deal. It's half a... It's. If you're doing it with normal time, 35 minutes a section, I mean, yep. normal time is 35 minutes a section, four sections, only one of them, well, one of them doesn't count. That's the experimental section, but there's going to be one LG that counts, one reading comp that counts, one LR that counts, and then one additional of any of the three types where they're testing out future questions, but four times 35 minutes plus a 10 minute break in between section two and section three. That all adds up to two and a half hours. You got this. <laughs> you you and better don't not over <laughs> burn out after two and a half hours worth of easy, fun work. I mean, you're doing well. You're figuring out the questions. Yeah, that may not be true for someone else. If you're scoring in the 150s, yeah, you should focus most of your time on drilling and practice sections because you need the time to review after you're done with those sections or section really. Here... You're you're scoring so highly that you can review your questions after a full test and still have time to go hang out and play golf. At 165 or or whatever you you're at right now, mm -hmm. yeah, one a week, one every other week, something like that. Don't make it into some big stressful dramatic thing. It it becomes a stressful dramatic thing if you never ever do it. So do it sometimes and get used to it's nothing. Yep. And here, you also sound like you're overthinking the three or four section thing. Make that decision based on how much time you have that day. If you still can't decide, roll a dice and do whichever is closer to three or four. That's how much it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just just do a test. I don't care. Yeah, it it, it really doesn't matter. What matters is understanding one more question at a time. Hey, since you mentioned golf, can I, I, I'll extend a golf analogy here. Uh, I always walk, you know, I never mm. ride on mm. in the golf cart. I always walk. Mm. And these dudes that I play with are like, you're going to walk <laughs> and carry your clubs the whole 18. Really? Do you know our, you know our ancestors? All of our ancestors <laughs> walked. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> they avoided the ice age by walking down to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, well, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's just ridiculous because it's a perfect example of, I do it all the time. I always do it. And it's nothing because I always do it. Mm -hmm. it it's like, I'll show up for the afternoon tea time. And the guys are like, you're going to walk the whole 18 and carry your, it makes me tired. Even looking at you doing it. And I'm like, well, you know, they're like, well, you're going to take a cart on the back nine, right? And I'm like, no, I'm planning on walking the whole 18. You're going to walk the whole 18. And then I'm like, I'll blow their mind sometime because I'm like, well, I also walked the whole 18 this morning at the other <laughs> golf course that I played. <laughs> so I was figuring I'd probably just keep walking 
this 18. Yeah. It's walking, dude. What? How hard is it? It's, it's not. That's so good for you, too. It's low impact. It reduces cortisol. Man. It's nothing. It's so easy. And anyway, doing a practice test, whether three sections or four sections, it's one quarter of a work day for a lawyer or for a law student. Yep. It's nothing. Stop worrying about it. The best way to stop worrying about it is to just do it sometimes. All right. That's go. all I have to say about that. Yeah. Thanks for writing. Email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening.